This is a how to use Notion for dummies video, so strap in. So when you first open Notion, the first thing that you're gonna see is a blank page. And what I like to start with is changing the title and the cover. And when I click add cover, it's going to just pick something for me, but I can go ahead and click on change cover and I can select anything I want to and it's super easy to change. And I like to add an icon too. This will show up in my sidebar. So you can go ahead and click on add icon and you can select an emoji or an icon, or you can copy over an image or a GIF from anywhere as well. Now I can add literally anything to this, but I'm gonna start with our very very first database, a calendar. See, a lot less complex than you thought. Just hover your mouse over this top line here and you're gonna see a plus and these little dots. Go ahead and click on the plus and you can select any database from here. Using this calendar is super easy. All you need to do is click on a date to add an event and you can go ahead and change the time. You can change the date of the event as well. You can drag this around. Now let's make some aesthetic headers. I'm just gonna type in the headers that I want. I'm just gonna do to do in life and I can go ahead and bold and italicize these and I can also change the color just by clicking on those three dots and I can change the background color right in there. If I want to put these beside each other, I can actually move any of these. It's like a block system anywhere on the page. And if I want them to be beside each other, I can just grab one and butt it up against the other one. And as soon as I see that little divider line, I'll know that they're going to show up right next to each other. Now to turn these into lists, all I really have to do is write my to-dos underneath any of those lists. I can highlight them and then go ahead and click on those dots again, turn into, and this time I'm going to choose to-do list. But of course you can choose any list you want. There's bullet, there's numbered, there's even a toggle list. So if you want it to show and close and open, you totally can do that as well. Now I'm gonna add a picture to make it cuter. I can do anything I want here as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that plus, add an image, and I can move that around in the exact same way I moved around those text boxes. Now, like I said, you can make databases for anything. I'm gonna go ahead and write job hunt underneath my life section, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn this into a page by clicking on those three dots, turn into, and then page. And now when I click on it, it's gonna open up its own page. And I can make a database here to keep track of my resumes, where I'm sending those resumes, who my main contact are, if I've sent out a cover letter, if I've had an interview, things like that. And I can do that really, really easily with the new AI function. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a database here. And now I'm going to see an option that says use Notion AI. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And now I can just type in whatever I want and it will make me a database that fits exactly my needs. Now you can go crazy and make databases for pretty much anything, your goals, your life, things you're doing, your grocery list, where you're applying to jobs, your portfolio work, all sorts of things you can add right into these databases and you can link them between pages so that they're really easy to access. Amazingly, this video is brought to you by Notion. So I have a full scale YouTube tutorial as well if you want to check that out. And I will also have a link to try Notion for free in my bio.